Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're back. And in this video, we want you all to do as we say and not as we did. We're going to give you the top 13 mistakes we made as a first-time cruiser so that you don't have to go through the stuff that we went through. Y'all ready for what you did? Let's get to it. Mistake number one. We winged it. Winged it horribly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We went into this not knowing what we could eat on board, what was available to us. We didn't know the drink options, the free drink options. We didn't know what activities they had on board. So we spent a lot of our time learning things that we could have learned in the comfort of our own home. So when we yes. got hit the ship running, we could have actually ran and got somewhere. Day one was all about, what's that? What's that? Yeah. How <laughs> is that free? Oh no, that wasn't. It was a lot, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So at that time, we only just cared about just getting on the boat. We didn't care about nothing else. Yep. And winging it cost us a lot of money. money. Yeah. Mistake number two mm. is you want to make sure that you pick the proper cat on um, cabin in the proper category because you don't want to be like us. We picked. <laughs> we picked a cabin where the boat was like this. <laughs> it was <laughs> every man. single day. And the queen ended up getting seasick. I didn't get seasick, and she got and, and she had on C bands. So you want to definitely make research, you know, each category because if you got vertigo issues, you don't want to be to the front of the ship. You don't want to be to the back. You want to be somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. So you want to definitely make sure that you research that to get the right cabin. The last thing you want is to be sick as a dog and miserable out in the middle of that sea and ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you just got to let nature take its course. Yeah. Mistake number three, not researching what you could and could not bring on board. For us at that time, they were allowing, because this was 2008. At that time, you could bring your waters on board and all of that good stuff. And because we didn't know any of that stuff, we didn't bring waters. Nope. We didn't bring our canned beverages. We didn't bring wine. Like there was nothing nope. that was allowed <laughs> that we brought because we didn't do our research. We didn't know. Right. Mm -hmm. So with that said, research, research, research. And if you don't have time to research, that's when you need a travel aid. Absolutely. That can help you through this whole entire process to make sure that your trip is a success. Hint, hint. My baby, the queen, is an excellent travel agent. Indeed I am. And she treats your vacations as if it was ours. Perfect. And, and the queen's travel agent information is going to be below. Yo, mistake number four. Crucial mistake that we made. I'm still feeling it. We did not book an excursion. Yeah, because we were trying to be cheap. Like, mm -hmm. we ain't got no money for that. We not mm -hmm. even doing that. But we didn't understand how powerful and enjoyable um excursions all on a cruise ship matter of fact they they like it's they like the you. icing on the cake for you it man it is it is so we definitely urge to i know it's a lot but book you an excursion because you especially if it's your first time cruising. right because yeah. yeah you don't want to sets the staple yeah because we got back and was like oh man i wish we did an excursion because if you had been through what we went through yeah <laughs> do, are y'all interested in hearing our first time cruise of horror story like it's a lot yeah. Leave it down below. Say yes. I want to hear the story. It was so bad. We we didn't cruise for, for 11, 11 years. years. With Carnival. Y'all want to hear about it? Put it down in the comments. Mistake number five. <laughs> Not using a travel agent. So now, knowing that myself and being a travel agent, shameless play, we already did it. You need a good travel agent, I'm your girl. But we didn't know what we didn't know until we didn't know that we didn't know it. Right. And that's where a travel agent comes in at is... They could have educated us, made us well prepared for the cruise, told us what we could bring, what we couldn't bring, yeah. what excursions were available to us, pick the best cabin categories, yes. location based off of what your concerns may be, what your health issues may be. I had yeah. vertigo. No one with vertigo should ever be in the beginning or at the end of a ship. A travel agent would have vetted out all, all of that, that. information yep. and customized the experience. So with that said, I will never <laughs> advise someone that is a first time cruiser to go at it alone. Once you learn it and if that's something you enjoy doing, of course you can take over and yeah. do it yourself because then you know what you know and you don't be out there in the middle of, oh, I didn't know that I could bring this. I did, you know. Exactly. So, Learn from my mistakes. Don't do not do as I did. Do as I say. <laughs> Mistake number six, y'all. Mm. 
We drunk them high A waters in the goddamn. In the cabins? <laughs> yeah, the cabins, man. <laughs> we didn't even see that the price was on that little sticker thing. We just. And honestly, back then, I don't even <laughs> think that it was so clearly labeled. I think it was like on the desk. I don't even think it was on the cap or anything like they do it now. Like now you can't, you can't say you didn't see it. Yeah. Then they got us on it. Yeah, they, they got, got us. us. Yeah. So for those of y'all who don't know, you can actually pre-buy 12 pack of waters on count. I think it's about like under $5. Yeah. That you can get them and have them delivered to your it. room. And don't partake of that high A water that's provided for you in the room. Don't it ain't worth it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. It don't taste no better. <laughs> Mistake number seven. As a female, they got me. Ooh, they got me. Don't overspend in the pictures. Yes. Like real facts. If you feel like you can sit down and get you a good session in and not overspend, do that. But if you're like me and every picture looks like you just uh, have to have yep. it. <laughs> Just get your one or two shots and boom, just 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 walk away. Yeah. We spent over three almost four hundred dollars in pictures. In pictures. Yeah. And not one of them has ever made a wall in our home. And not mind you, one. We didn't pay cash for those. We put on a credit card. Because we were broke. <laughs> <laughs> we barely had enough money to get on this cruise, but we said we were going to start traveling in 2008 and God darn it, we did. Yep. But now, Carnival actually fixed that, that you can pre-buy pictures before you go on, so you don't have to spend nowhere near as much that much. It's, it's, lo it's little as $100 that you can pre-buy your pictures, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Exactly. Mistake number eight, y'all. Not knowing the total cost of the trip. Yeah. So we thought that once we paid our money into Carnival when, when the Queen called them, we thought that was it until we got on the ship. We just scratching the surface. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> Carnival makes like about 30% of what they make while you're on board. Yes, so you're going to spend the money on board. Now, we didn't understand that we had to have enough money for that. So <laughs> we urge you, like, our number is at least $500. Of spending cash it may be it might be a little different for you but please research the total cost of your trip so that way you won't be like us like we said with the with the pictures we wanted them so bad and we end up putting them on a the credit card yeah, we were so we don't want you money. we don't want you to pay all that money for the cruise and then turn around and go in debt while you're on the cruise and now the cruise is over and you still paying for yeah. it because you didn't understand the total cost for state number 10 this was a big one for us because I didn't use a travel agent. Yeah. I didn't know anything about the gratuities that were going to be charged in my sign and sail card a day or two before we disembarked the ship. Let me explain. If you were like us, we went up to the bar, okay, let's get a soda. You get a soda, they give you a little slip of paper, you sign off on it, boom, it's charged you a sign and sail card. Not realizing one, see they got us three times. <laughs> Not realizing that one, the tip is already included in the price of the drink when they give it to you, right? Right. Then they leave that little famous line there that makes you feel guilty if you don't put something in it <laughs> because you got homeboy looking you in your face talking about some, can I help you with anything else? <laughs> so you go ahead and put another dollar in it. Now realizing tip is in there, you just gave another dollar and then the night before or two days before you get <clears> off that ship, they're going to charge your sign and sale card for the gratuities that they're supposed to charge you for. So be mindful. Yeah. Yes, now you can do prepay your gratuities and whatnot, but be mindful that if you have to do something where you gotta sign that ticket, there's additional gratuity already tacked into that. Yeah. So you don't have to add anything extra if you don't want to. If you want to, it is what it is. Yeah. Hey, you can't never give too much, but we <laughs> ain't know we were giving too much. But the caveat of that was those gratuities was put on credit too. Because yeah. we didn't have the money. Because <laughs> we didn't know the total cost. Listen, y'all better want to know this story about our horror Man, experience. I was telling you, we, 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 we got in so much debt, man. We got oh, in so was, much it debt. Was, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> Mistake number 11, y'all. Now, because we from the country, we love buffets. We so, used to. <laughs> we don't yeah. get a little elevated now. But on this, on our first cruise, all we ate all of our breakfast at the buffet, 
And now we kick ourselves in the face because we realized that the C Day C Day Brunch. brunches is a heck of a lot better. Their breakfast is a heck of a lot better yes. than the buffet Very breakfast. Very customizable. Yeah, partake of the buffet, but make sure that you go into the dining room to get them to cook you a breakfast from scratch, man. <laughs> Ready to order. Tastes better than that buffet food, man. I'm telling you. Mistake number 12. This may not be a big thing for you, but for us, it was really big. Don't rush to be the first ones to get onto a cruise ship. It's still going to be there in port for hours. Worse. Yeah. More than likely, you're going to be the one that's waiting the longest for your room to be ready because what? You're the first person on board. Yes. For us, we now try to get on the ship at the latest check-in time. That way, as soon as you get on, most of the time your room is ready. They've worked out any of the bugs and kinks that could have been happening before you. You don't yeah. get in that whole sea of people because... We're gonna tell that story. We got to, because it was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still damaged from it. <laughs> still damaged from it. Mistake number 13. And now listen at me good, <laughs> because this is gonna avoid you from having a lot of frustration, because this part right here is frustrating. Everybody been on a cruise would know what I'm saying. That if you got, if you drove into port, or if you got a late flight, delay your disembarkation because when you go out there to them elevators with all them sea of people <laughs> they pushing they bumping you because everybody really trying to get off that is so frustrating so the best thing you do is go find yourself something to eat or just chill in your cabin until all those sea of people disappear and then go on, on out there off. but of course if you are a diamond member or higher you have priority disembarkation so you can get off early but if you ain't got that just go and chill out, man. Chill out. Just chill out. You ain't got nowhere to go but home. Yeah. Especially if you ain't got no patience for people. <laughs> yeah, chill out. <laughs> you know those happy people that was, hey, where are you from? I'm from. They all of a sudden go turn into, I don't know why she's bumping into me. <laughs> and, and we're all going to the same place. People going, that last day, people changed right back into who they were before they got on that shit. Yep. <laughs> The next video I want you all to watch is the 15 tips and tricks that will enhance your next cruise experience. That video is going to be linked right here. Yeah. Check it out.